I think a lot of them are pretty obnoxious. It's like kind of, <laughs> it can be fun, but some people abuse it. I think they should increase the cooldown on them. To I be like honest that. With you. <laughs> it yes. Needs to be nerfed. That's fair. Nerf the cooldown. God, it's classic. Well, I, I, I kind of, so I, I like what you're saying about the zoomers indeed. Uh, but the one thing that I do feel like is weird is like I was having this discussion in my head, like, okay, which is the worst carry, Wraith King or Gyrocopter? Um, and I, I guess that it, in a way it feels like Wraith King has just been so often that like be all end all answer in the late game, particularly if you get something like Spider Legs toward the end place. Do you, do you kind of feel like, like Wraith King's still that good? Or is it just the other heroes that make you you dig the the four zoomers lineup? Uh, Wraithing's still a good hero because um he farms quickly as well. Like the whole meta is talking about is like not having to buy a battle fury to farm quickly. As you can right. see, they found their alternatives and the skeletons from Wraith King and the flat cannon from Gyrocopter. None of them want to go down the traditional battle fury route. And I think Wraith King struggles a little bit because he farms slower than a lot of the heroes that were banned. And he probably will farm a bit slower than Gyro, but it really depends on the laning stage. But if okay. they're equal farm, I favor the Wraith King in this matchup. All right, that's fair. I, I'm I'm really curious to see uh, how these lanes work out. Um, obviously, you talked in the draft about like the key to this one working uh, for the side of Simply Two Base was going to be this Earth Spirit. Can he hit those rolls? And then now you're sort of doubling down on that. Can he hit the roll and then turn it into the Earth Split? Nope. That's uh, that's not a great start, but it's okay. It's a warm up game, warm up roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty neutral. There's like very little commitment from two base to do that. But the more they connect of that, the more pressure they will apply. True. Well, but this so overall, I think this racing should free farm because Last Strike's base damage is rather low. They're really mm -hmm. just banking on the fact of being able to hit their spells and harass and potentially get kills. And they're not doing so hot with that right now in the bottom lane. That's zero for two on the combo, but they'll keep trying. Yeah, a little bit rough there. Also managed to get a CS while he was doing it, so all wasn't lost. But uh, as you talked about, having that sort of like base damage deficit, and then on top of that, Wraith King having a Quelling Blade uh, is just super annoying. Um, meanwhile, in the mid lane, it is going to be Ember versus Mars. And already Mars off to a decent start, getting a couple more denies there. Uh, over the the gunner uh ember and even threatening a little bit here taking the zero two one build i wasn't sure what, what he was gonna go what why is the point in bulwark good do you do you, do you know much about that that combo i have no idea i think it's just gonna man fight him oh oh ocean ends up finding first blood onto empyrean that is not the way they wanted it to go uh just arrow combo together with the gush anchor smash yeah this is just a matchup where you just put this Marana and they're gonna go again on top lane. Oh no, Boris. Oh, gotta get out of there. Looks like he is gonna be fine. They're bringing out two selves. They know what kind of lane this is. Uh, yeah, Empyrean's just gonna keep on feeding Boris this this uh, region constantly. Yeah, this is just the strength of like these uh, melee heroes plus ranged force. I much prefer it over the position three range like the Leshrac because you just get to right click so much in the position threes like tied the gush is such a powerful setup tool oh towards mid gunner also there with ion and five up got a good chunk of damage in with the earth spirit rotation but wasn't able to find a spear uh, or an angle to connect so they can't get that kill onto him uh but seeing already a good uh a good harassment coming out gunner also not really struggling too much here though hasn't been able to find anything on him so Find a dandy as the scan comes out. Ocean will be able to pick up this bounty rune, uh, taking it away from five up, and a little bit of lag, as has been the case every now and then. Very nice. Yeah, just quick disconnect should be fine. Interesting enough, the Earth Spirit looks like he's going to completely abandon the last rack in this lane here. But the lane is in a good spot now for Monkey, so even though he's not there, he should get a good amount. So okay. I think it's a good rotation. I think this is Earth Spirit's strength as a hero. Like, he's probably one of the weakest laning fours as a melee hero. His spells are not easy to hit. The stats aren't that great, but he is very good at roaming on the mid lane. Yeah. Kill them all, kill them all. So that's what he's going to try doing here. Uh, and of course, it's just a matter of like, can you connect onto those uh, abilities and um, 
As far as vision is concerned, right now, Radiant don't have uh, any wards over in this mid lane. It looks like they have one that's back behind uh, where they would scout a rotation uh, on the south side of his tower. Uh, but that's, that's actually kind of a cool ward there if, if the Earth Spirit does start roaming around that direction. But right now, Ocean's just right on top of him. Yeah, he's just trying to snipe the three-minute bounty rune from the Ember there. Which he did take away from him, so... He won't be able to get that on the Ember. Yeah, I was very curious about this mid lane matchup. I'm not very... I don't really play Mars, and... I'm not... don't play that much mid in general, so I was wondering how Gunner would do versus us in the mid lane. Because I think both these heroes, like... They want to make rotations and set the tempo for the game as we talked about and we gunner has shown that he's very good at doing so and i annihilate also showed yesterday that he's very good at that as well his tiny i think was like 18 and one or something right. versus the hustlers and his rotations were really good oh nice job there the roll in afterwards looking for the slowdown now onto gunner but he's just gonna walk away and Question is, can they get over? Yeah, it looks like I Annihilate's going to get the other water runes. So still denying out runes from Gunner. Uh, Got to be frustrating for this Ember Spirit player. And now we'll see. It uh, doesn't actually even have anything coming out back on the Courier. That is this is going to be a little bit tough for him. But the downside from all this rotation from the Earth Spirit is Husky has now stacked the small camp and pulled it. So Monkeys was doing really well, but now he's going to start to suffer a bit with all these denied creeps. And then mid lane, they're going again. Trying to roll, get the kill. I annihilate with a little bit of help, manages to find that finish. <laughs> All right, the tips are coming in. They're ready to go, uh, as you might expect. I mean, for Ember, though, like it was, you know, he, he dies, he comes back with full resources now. Looks like he's not going to miss that much of a wave, most likely. He might miss one, actually, but still, I annihilate. Nice kill there. Yeah, I mean, he's probably not stressing it too much because he's probably like, hey, guys, this is like his third roll on the mid lane. How's the safe lane doing? Right. <laughs> and it lo honestly, it looks like, you know, Monkey's just keeping up and see us in a 2v1 situation here. So, this is really good for two based. Yeah, that's what you want to see for them, for sure. Uh, and Annihilate now has level 6 Gunner still about half a level away. Uh, with Arena here, can they do something? I mean, they still have the Ron in the area. And that arrow! Oh, you can't afford to go right down right now as I Annihilate, but he will. Are we going to see the five-man tip back the other way? Or is Gunner just giving that one for himself? No, it's, like it's only the one. Is Well, down bottom. Now they go on monkeys. But the chase, the husky kick back underneath the tower. He'd already used the dive. Going to find the finish. All right, all right. Hey, TP2. Interesting. I wonder if he's... I, he I might as well just stay down here. Yeah. But I'd like to see them make a rotation on this gyro now. Now they're kind of stuck down here. And interesting enough, Monkey's Forever only has two points on the Edict, opting for two points in Stun and one in Lightning Storm. So their pushing potential isn't as good as it could be down here. I wonder if maybe he's going to like opt to not take Pulse Nova or something, maybe, and take another point and two points in Diabolic Edict, maybe. Uh, that know. would be unheard of for me, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Pulse Nova is just one of those spells that are just... They're, it's so good. It's so powerful. It's a farming tool. It does way too much damage. Listen, Fear, we saw Puck not take Coil to level 9 the other day, all right? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to see. Yeah, but Who knows? he wasn't even human. We already went over this. <laughs> Can of Sculpus. That's right. Oh, unbelievable. All right. Well, a 1,000 gold lead still for the Zoomers out of this early get go and they are gonna just fully commit to trying to take down this tower as boris will retreat back to the jungle so uh tier one starting to drop a little bit up in that top lane and no pressure really being felt down bottom at all even though they've got three heroes down here yeah so it's kind of a bit of a mistake from the a to tp down there kind of just sacked their top lane right and they weren't able to apply pressure in the bot lane i guess they're going to now they're bringing the whole fam here Dude, Sammy, do they realize they roll in, they catch him. That Mars was underneath the ward, but he is in some trouble now. As I Annihilate throws out that arena, able to get it, does have ulti, but doesn't, or rather, did have a point for ulti, but wasn't skilled. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't just, he went all the way through. So they kill off Sammy, and now ready to pressure down this bottom tower. Yeah, he wasn't even saving it. It's, his build is so aggressive. Like, I have not seen this type of Wraith King before. 
He's going for the soul ring and something happening mid. R Ravage on Brax. Well, no arena this time, and Arrow comes in, and well, brought four heroes bottom, we're gonna be four heroes mid. That's what, how it goes. Yeah, I didn't even need to use the Ravage, which was an important part, which means I might be able to pressure this mid tower. Sammy's back down bottom again, actually, and like you had mentioned, without that extra point up in the Edict yet, uh, they can't really do that much damage to the tier one tower. So, Zoomers making some solid moves, uh, and Sammy's still staying down here with just no fear at all. I guess, you know, spotting a couple heroes moving out, it'll be fine. I think he's just confident, and his team mid lane is pushing and they'll react. Roll tries to get out of there. Five up, being chased though by Ocean. The punches come through, has an arrow afterwards, connects for the kill. Very well played. Yeah, they are just running at him constantly, and well, they do manage to find themselves a kill on Husky down there towards the bottom side of the mid. Uh, but still very aggro early going. I, I'm impressed a little bit with Simply Two Base. I feel like a lot of the other teams do start falling behind pretty quickly around this point against the Zoomers, and they're managing to sort of stay with it. Yeah, I mean, they built much stronger lanes than what Arkosh concocted, I think, so... <laughs> That's fair. They're not able to, like... Everyone's, like, pretty high skill. They like, we'll all play pubs together, so it's all about... If you want a good laning stage, you have to draft the right heroes for it, and... I was just most impressed by the bottom lane of 2 base, to be honest. They left Monkeys down there pretty much solo after minute 3, and he got a lot out of the lane. Yeah. Has been As they will find a, a quick courier kill. And that's going to be a little bit frustrating for Boris, who does have one component of his uh, Aghanim Scepter, which he's rushing right now. And in the meantime, some more pressure on towards mid-tower. Uh, five up is here in case somebody wants to rotate over, and there are many heroes in the area as they just finished the stack. Looking for that slow, but uh, that, that was never going to hit unless you got the silence off. That was weird. Yeah, they, we had such a good game on uh, I Annihilate, but his two deaths have dropped his net worth significantly. And looking at their heroes, like, they really need the Mars Yules to ever catch a Simber. I don't yeah. think the Surf Spirit's going to find much success. And this smoke, three-man smoke, to go find a Tide Hunter Ooh. here. He's got a hood. Yeah, this is a tough one, but can they get... Ah, yeah, they realize that this is just isn't going to work. There's a big stack, though, and they have a DD on I Annihilate. You would love to be able to take that, but... Just a bit too deadly, not seen with everybody and having the Ravage online. So Brax tanks the smoke gate and they just walk away from him. Yeah, they probably thought Wraith King was there, but then they saw this Tide with Hood and Raindrops and 10 Stick and they're like, hmm. Yeah. Maybe he's not the target, guys. Absolutely. So we'll have to keep our eyes on it as, uh, again, 3,000 gold lead. And you can see oh, a little bit of spoilers there, but... For all you guys that were wondering, Arkosh did manage to get the 2-0 over Felt. Uh, that one taking place over on BTS3, but now has ended. Uh, we'll have to keep our eyes on them going forward in the tournament uh, and the qualifiers throughout the rest of it as well. So, down bottom next, the dive away. And again, I Annihilate not able to connect on any of these kills. As four Zoomers, they just keep on either putting a bad target in front of them or dodging away. And he's level 7. On Husky, jeez. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Yeah, I mean, getting the kills on the mid laner really helped both our supports get their levels. Well, looks like the edict. Less Shrek doesn't do less Shrek things. They sit in the trees and get free towers. Nice. Nothing wrong there. Perfect. It's like my favorite part of Dota, like playing versus Lush. Like they just, you just see your tower just dying and no one's on the map. Right. There's so many like tree locations you can hide in and do this. That's great. I mean, you know, and then there's like the position for that. That's all they do, and then you know, feed afterwards. So that, that's great too. <laughs> just my <high> skilled Dota. <laughs> I mean, less tracks are in general a lot of feeders on that hero. It's really easy to feed. You just run down lanes and push real quick, and they're going on ocean there. This is really hard for five up. He has to like not only play insane, but they they have to be a little slow on zoomers to get caught by this. So it's right. kind of why Earth Spirit's like not super popular right now. True. Like his impact just doesn't feel as good as the other heroes that have more reliable stuns. Well, in the meantime, I mean, all of this is sort of space created for Boris to get super farmed. He just finished off like 
I want to say it was a four stack of the hard camp and now trying to finish off these ancients as well. So he is going to be mega farmed in this game. Uh, currently the highest net worth by a thousand gold as I Annihilate will not be able to connect for the kill. They just get out with Gunner. Perfectly fine. Yeah, I mean, this uh, Gyrocopter, he, he's playing for the farm. Like, he maxed Flat Cannon at level 7. Right. And has just been farming jungle efficiently. But a little surprising that Sammy Boy, he went for the Soul Ring build with 3 points and stun for the laning stage. Oh. But they didn't really crush the lane, so this is going to slow down his farming a little bit. And it might be a little bit of a regrettable decision by him this game, but he's still going for that relic, and he's not too far off, but his timings are definitely behind. In the meantime, Zoomers just keep on assassinating these heroes one by one, gets the silence, but not able to connect onto that roll for Gunner. Meanwhile, Moonlight Shadow goes out, Monkeys keeps the chase on, the missile will go through, the chains trying to slow down the rest of them. Brax is in the area, dude. Ravage is here. If they roll in, this could be tragic. Good slight dodge. And it looks like simply two base. Now, ah, arrow goes out. It's going to connect. They get the kill. Gunner. They're just playing this so perfectly. It's like they're, they're sort of baiting them into these bad fights. And then they just lose a hero here and there. Yeah, I just feel like this is like a little bit of inexperience from two base. Because like this whole area... It's just being controlled by Zoomers, and they're trying to get it back really desperately. But that's not worth it, I think. I think they should just be playing on the bottom part of the map. Right. Until they have the items where they can actually deal with this Ember. Like I talked about, like, until we have these duels on Mars, I don't think there's a chance that Gunner's gonna die. And he just keeps baiting more and more heroes, and they're just getting mad at Gunner, and just sending more to his lane, and <laughs> it's just not working. Right. Yeah, and they're just and now... losing out on the map for it. Right, now, now you're seeing that rotation down here by the Zoomers, Gunner and Ocean, hoping to find somebody who wanted to farm these camps uh, and maybe catch that gyrocopter. Now, this might be a bit bold from the Zoomers if they run up this hill, but our two yeah, base in position. Tide. Danger, danger, gotta be careful. Ravage comes out, they catch on a four and then just walk away. Oh man. Yeah, that's a, that's a rough one. I, I thought more of two base would be there, but I guess that like Tide can just do this in this game. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. You just walk in and how do you deal with them? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of these uh, teams right now, they don't have a good answer for this Tide. Every time Brax plays this, he's getting so fat. Like it's 15 minutes in the in the game. He has Blink Hood, Soul Ring. Like he's ginormous. He's number one net worth on their team. Right. We saw Arkosh try to run the Spectre versus it. Same thing happened. This guy is just huge. Might want to go back to the drawing board and figure out like how to deal with this. Yeah, well, and I think that's you know, one of the things that they identified uh, potentially could have been that, that uh, was it the Hoodwink banned by them or somebody else? I'm not sure. Regardless, Monkeys Forever just gets absolutely thunked here by the Anchor Smash. It's still a nice chunk of damage onto this uh, Tide, but won't be enough. The blink forward finds the finish. Dude. Yeah, they're, they're, he's absolutely killing it. Brax is having a game. As Ocean, doesn't look like it's going to be enough damage to tickle him down below that threshold, so he'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, this gyrocopter is really farmed, but like I said, the same amount on net worth on a gyro compared to, like, a Terra Blade or a Medusa, it's, like, not comparable because... His spells aren't as good, and he won't output as much damage. Plus, he kind of needs to buy this Agnums to farm. So, right. he, they could have had this game on Gyro regardless, but their other two cores, they're they are not working very well together, this game. I, I'd like them to sync up more instead of playing the split push style, which it seems a lot of these uh, non, I would say, tier 1 NA teams are not doing. Because right now, you'll see Zoomers, they're grouped up a lot. They're making a lot of plays together. And we're missing that from simply two based. I want to see Leshrac and Mars kind of link up and make something happen with this Ice Blast. When was the last time they used this Ice Blast for a kill? It's like just sitting idly, waiting to be used. Yeah, it does kind of feel like AFK gaming, definitely. Um, and more so that even than AFK gaming is like every now and then you sort of take a stick and you try and poke a bear and that bear comes and kills you. Um, and the Yule Scepter now going to come out. Boris... Well, this is a little bit weird, but if Sammy comes in, oh, no, they're bringing everybody. They're bringing the whole squad. 
And they will catch and kill on Empyrean. They knew right where Boris was. Oh, the root is there. They're going to try and chase down and kill this Gyrocopter. You know what? I think they're going to get him. Damn, dude. Zoomers are, like, so on top of it. They look way better than yesterday. Yeah, they're playing good. They're playing some good Dota here. Gunner is, like, to me, the backbone of this team, and his rotation doesn't make or break the team. And I think that's how it is in general for most teams with their mid laner if they're not playing like a, a hard carry mid like TA for example which it doesn't look like Gunner is really fancying those heroes in this patch right now he's all about making the space and roaming another round so they just jump in take down five up they got themselves an imp claw now on top of all the rest of this and I don't know yeah they've got radiance done on Sammy it's just it's all coming together the, the synchronization is there and and now from like simply two base You've got this Yule Scepter, but I don't know. It feels like pretty soon they're just going to get that next tier of item that makes those obsolete as well. I'll have to see. As... Yeah, I'd like for someone to start captaining two base right now and be like, hey guys, this is like six deaths in a row where we're not grouped up and we're right. getting picked off. Let's go together. Let's make something happen. I wouldn't even mind if they five man right now because that's just, they, they don't have any map right now. They need to go somewhere with the smoke. Which they do, plant a ward, and get some map control back. Right. Well, well they're doing it now, and sort of going towards the area where uh, you might expect to find somebody. Skeletons are shown. Does that signal he's going to the triangle? Uh, it looks like for the moment, Boris is going to push out this lane. Doesn't want to reveal that the smoke is going on. And thinking about going on to Sammy here. They get it down. Arena's there. Is it going to be enough for the kill one time? Yes, they do. But can they get a second round of the kills? Ravage is still on cooldown. They bring him down. Great combination. And now the Yule Scepter lift up. Trying to find themselves a catch on the Gunner. Misses the roll. Anticipating him walking down. And Gunner just walks away. Good slight dodge afterwards on that one. So they find themselves a really nice kill onto that, that Wraith King. That, that's what they needed. Yeah, they need to keep grouping up. Like, this isn't a pub game, you know? You're playing versus one of the best teams in NA. They're going to keep grouping up. You need to match their numbers with your numbers. And they got the Reincarnation, which is, I believe, only level 2. And so it's going to be on cooldown for a while. And they have another window now to keep fighting while Wraith King is still weak with just this Radiance. Arrow goes in. And 2 base. I mean, they, they also just finished BKBs on both the Monkeys Forever and Boris used in that last fight. It feels like they should try and make another one of those goes. And yeah, they're going to smoke up now. Is it quick enough? Oh, they're pinging. They see Sammy. Oh, man. But this time they do have Ravage available. Brax, they're all smoking. The counterplay coming from Zoomers. They're so ready for this one. Jumps in. Oh, no, he got rolled on. Right at the start, the Ravage comes out afterwards. Connects on to four. Ocean behind. Takes down I Annihilate. What a great read. They will kill Sammy again. But losing four for it, potentially, if they can take down Boris. No, Boris gets out. So four for one and a four protect one. I don't know. Is that, is that worth or not? Probably not still. Uh, the gold change, 1400 for Zoomer. So not really worth it <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> based so off cool. gold and XP. So yeah, losing four heroes kind of hurts them. If they would have lost like two, maybe even three. But the important thing is the Gyro did get out and he is continuing his snowball. It looks like he's going for SNY. Actually, did he get out? Oh, no. They knew right where Boris was going to go. I mean, that's one of the things, right? Like, the most efficient farming sometimes gets you killed, and they were right on top of where he was going to be. They, they, they are just, like, reading his mind. This is just crisp gameplay because, like, what Zoomers is doing much better than 2 based is understanding how to allocate their resources because during this whole time, Tide was farming the enemy jungle. And they just made this play with two heroes. So this is how you're going to get a gold lead. Without, if they brought Tide to that and they just killed Boris, sure, it'd still be good. But they realize they only need two heroes for us. So they're getting the most out of the map while ganking. Right. That's so sick. Yeah, I love to see it. Just good resource allocation, good predictive gameplay. Like all the things that you want out of Zoomers. And looks like they ate their Wheaties this morning and are ready to go. No more of that losing to Arkosh Gaiman. Uh, 17 to 6. Blade Mail picked up on top of that Sanj, queuing up the Sanj and Kaya afterwards for Gunner. 
Uh, so he just wants to be able to run in and, and cause trouble, uh, both for Lesh, Gyro. There's so much, like, uncontrollable damage in this game. Yeah, that's a big pickup, but an even bigger pickup potentially will be Husky has a BKB pretty much completed now on his oh, position man. 5 Phoenix. What? <laughs> yeah. Not something oh we God. see every day. Dude, and Brax almost has Refresher. This dude is so stacked up. What? 500 gold away. Oh, Moonlight Shadow. They don't see him. Oh, man. Ravage is back up in 10 seconds. Gunner. Oh, it's not Moonlight Shadow. It's just an Invis rune. The arrow forces out the BKB from Boris. Damn, dude. A little frustrating there, I'm sure. But BKB done on Phoenix now, and four zoomers looking quite strong in this one. Still a very, very strong gyrocopter, uh, but we've seen that, you know, still very killable as well for him. I think the biggest problem that Shiro's going to run into is uh, can his team lock down the zoomers for him to actually do enough damage? Right. Because once they get the BKBs online, they don't really have anything for it. Like the Arena, Leshrank, like all these heroes can just walk away if they get their BKB off. And yeah, the, the, the only instance they don't have an instance done, like I said. So they'll always be able to get their BKB off unless a roll hits them. Right. Or if they have really slow reflexes to this uh, Mars. But I don't think anyone on Zoomers will fall for that without getting their BKB off in time. Right. Well, and, and I mean, eventually maybe you can get towards a sheep stick or something, but we're talking like way past the point where that's, you know, even going to be super relevant, most likely. Who's going to even make one of those? Right. Maybe like, Lesh later? Uh, it's, it's... But he's going for the, the Bloodstone, it looks like, instead. True. Uh, it's going to be at a point where the game isn't even really, uh, like, it'll already be over by that point, most likely. Oh, BKB just complete on Sammy Boy. Radiance into straight BKB. He realizes the same thing that I'm realizing, that BKB makes you invulnerable versus the, the lineup of Simply 2 based. Husky is on the same page with his BKB on Phoenix. Brax is just so tanky, he'll probably not buy one. I mean... Again, he, he just got that refresher. Uh, I think that he has enough mana if he refreshes the arcane boots. Um, so that'll be something at the very least. Oh, he also has soul ring and he's got magic wand. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. He'll be fine. Um, so the difference between like the Mars and the Tide is like, you actually, a lot of people can't react in time to a blink ravage. So you, right. you can get him before the BKB and they have triple BKB now on based. They finished it on Mars just now. So it's all about who can get their BKBs off, and that'll determine most of these team fights. It looks like if they get both of oh god, careful, gotta run away. They're thinking about going in right now. Brax looking for the chase down. Monkeys gets that BKB still being chased though constantly. A roll in connects onto Brax, uh, but it is going to be the one life that they give up as Lesh was able to escape. Yeah, you see them running at you. You just got to get the heck out of dodge. It's uh, it's going to be devastating. Yeah, BKB TP is going to be a very powerful tool for Simply 2 base for now. Until this uh, Earth Spirit can hit, like, honestly, I don't even fault him. It's just so hard to, like, initiate yeah. with this hero. But he kind of has to. This is, like, kind of the weakness of these position 3 offlaners, I feel. Like, they just, the position 4 Earth Spirit, opposed to, like, you know, a Dragonite or an Axe, Blink Initiation or Tide is a lot harder. Right, totally. Uh, that was a good use, and then dodged arrow with it. Keeping him alive. S saved his BKB charge. That's what you want to see. And Annihilate still getting chased around by this creep a little bit. But the pressure is up top. So you're seeing that even in the midst of, like, denying out this area from two base, they're also taking these objectives pretty consistently. And now there's a big wave of skeletons pushing in towards that top tier three tower, uh, which two base need to deal with. The question is, do Zoomers just want to walk into Rosh at this point? It's tempting, but that's also how the things went so wrong for them yesterday. Well, Ice Blast was wasted. It's pretty yeah. big. Well, they're going to start to go down. And I think simply two fall. bases in a position where they have to have every resource available to win a fight. Right. And it is just that first rush anyways, um, which granted, you know, you give this to Gunner most likely, uh, and he is just going to be able to go absolutely ham. We'll see if he's the one that takes it or not. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate it. I think it's a pretty good idea. 
might be a little redundant for the Wraith team to take it like right now. Maybe on the second Aegis, if he wants them to hit buildings, that might be a good idea on okay. Sammy. But for now, I think Gunner can make a lot of space with this. And it really fits his play style too. Gunner has a lot of like oopsies deaths by being too aggressive. Right. And this will, you know, complement that play style, honestly. I say it's like an oopsie death, but at the same time, he makes brilliant plays as well with how aggressive he can be. Yeah, totally. I mean, that, that, it's it's the point of it, right? That's what he's supposed to be doing for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, Gunner finds himself monkeys forever. He probably got to turn that off with the blade mail going. Oh my uh -oh. God, he's just dead. He actually is just dead. Ice blast afterwards. Now they don't have the damage because Lesh is gone. Roll forward, Gunner takes the roll. Chase is a bit more, but Boris is there. Okay, oopsie. You, you called it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, with that, they're going to back out. Ravage used. Over to the side, they get Empyrean with it. Okay. Take oh, that. I was wondering what I was seeing. It's this immortal on Tide. Like, it creates like this gush effect around the Ravage. Yeah. I was like, what's this, an Ags? Or what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, it's a funky looking one for sure. He immediately refreshes afterwards. So we'll get to see it here again in a second if they want to. Um, I mean, you might as well. They're the same cooldown, so yeah. It's either do you want your Ravage on cooldown or your Refresh Orb, you know? Right. No-brainer. Well, 29 minutes in right now. It's a 12,000 gold lead. Kaya is going to come out. Uh, they get Ceremonial Robe, which could be pretty hype for them. I'm wondering at this point if, like, Monkeys needs to go for that, like, Shard or something to try and hold out to late game. To try and just hold their base. I don't know. It, it feels like they just need so much on all these heroes, just like that extra chunk of gold. I think they need to be using their BKPs to just Rambo down lanes and just wait out this Aegis. Because, yeah. like, they have nothing to stop BKB TPs there. Like, Monkeys, as you saw, like, died in the last fight to the DD Ember, but he just, like, didn't pop his BKB, kind of died a little bit to the Blade Mill, and then by the time he wanted to BKB, he was, like, already almost dead. So I want him to continue to play how he was playing by pushing these lanes out, but as soon as he sees any danger, just BKB TP out, and make sure you get the waves out. They have no chance in a team fight versus uh, Zoomers right now. Right. It's just too tough. But they're going to try to do some sneaky wraparound plays. They find Brax, not really the target. Uh, they pop BKB, trying to bring him down, and the duration of that BKB still has that Ravage. They actually kill him. Okay. They don't want to use it. Egg. A second round. Uh, this is huge for them, but buybacks come out. Can they get here quick enough, though? They're all the way over at the outpost. Sammy is dead. Zoomers? Excuse me? The chase. Sammy pops the BKB, turns to fight, but Boris is living through this one. This guy has Satanic. The chase down. Now they finally get the egg. The Ravage comes, and that might finally be enough. But Boris still living through all this, trying to survive. The Force Staff keeps him alive. They used everything. Can they bring him down? Boris still lives through all that. Monkeys the turn, and Husky falls too. The, the perfect fight. Ocean finds cleanup, but they take down four. All right, spoke too soon there. <laughs> that is the caster curse for your welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing that happened there that was like really unexpected was like Husky popped his BKB and he was living, but the gyro agonims hit him before he used his egg. Oh. And Brax also did not want to use Ravage because Leshak was BKB'd. And that they just didn't get off any of their spells in that fight when I feel like they could have. And That's it's just it's just unfortunate the Phoenix got sniped right before he thought he was like good because he got his BKB off so he wanted to push his limits right with the BKB on before egging but yeah the Ags just sniped him and then he just died and without those two fights to start it off it was just the end of the team fight. That's wild. Yeah, and, and I mean, that's the thing, right? Is like Gyrocopter, if you're allowed to just sit there and get, I think he got at least two rounds of flak off. Um, you are going to do a lot of damage. He's got this like Chrysalis for a lot of extra value there. And now a DD going to get bottled up as well. Yo, Zoomers, you got to be careful here, dudes. Uh, how quickly it's a things full can turn. Now. Yeah. Oh, man. So he actually, this is his timing on Gyro. Like, he is the strongest hero on the map by far right now. And he doesn't have an Aegis. So the game plan right now for Zoomers, they just got to blink Ravage him before he gets BKB off and burst him. Or he will kill everyone in a slow fight. I mean, that that's... that's It's it's nuts. The smoke up now afterwards. What can they find? Also, this Veil on Earth Spirit is so nifty. Um, Sammy. 
We'll see if he decides to go on, if they decide to go on this Wraith King or not. I mean, we saw how effective it ended up being going on Brax earlier. And Husky, the one that gets found, Spear, right at the start, gets him caught, silence afterwards. Still has that BKB available. Egg is ready, but he's dead. Now looking for more five up, trying to chain this together. Still has a couple of stones and spot Sammy. BKB comes out and now the chase down, but wait a minute, Brax off to the side, looking for the turn. Can they get it? Can they catch him? Can they try and save Sammy? He's still walking away. Ice Blast is gonna come out. They spot Brax and there's the Ravage. Connects on the four, but it's all the retreat. Dude, that was super scary, but Zoomers managed to get out of there before it turns super toxic. This Gunner is going to be pressuring out these lanes, trying his best to slow down this push. That could have been really good for Zoomers, but Brax had like four second cooldown on Ravage and he wanted double Ravage. Mm. Still ended up using the Ravage, so he no longer has double Ravage. He's probably a little sad about that, but right. it wasn't that bad at the end of the day. They only lost Husky and Gunner was able to get the two side lanes pressured out. So even though they got that Husky kill, they all had to go back to base on two based. Right. And, and even though the waves. Even though they did use one of the Ravage, they also didn't use Egg that time, so they'll have this again. Like, is this the type of moment where you, you want to try and get aggressive if you're Zoomers? I guess th there really aren't that many cooldowns on the side of, of two base, though. No, I think they want to wait for double Ravage. Just, like, Prax to not go for a build where he can just, like, tank everything for the team. Yeah. He's playing, like, the Initiation Assassin oh. mid lane on Gunner. Oh, the sun! No BKB! That's he had an oopsie. A that's an oopsie. Oh no, the oopsie. Oh god, I'm sensing the new uh, chat wall emote. <laughs> oh, he actually pushed a mid roll with the psychic headband on Brax. It actually cancels the roll. Interesting. That's cool. Roll Not is if a you're weird the Earth player. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's gonna Sounds that really BKB. annoying. I guess you can I'm do that whenever. Yeah. I'm interested if Brax is going to change his build up to get a BKB so he can actually sit in there or if he's going to commit to this Arcane Blink. And it's I think he should commit for the Arcane Blink because Sammy Boy can front line for them. Right. But they really need to find this initiation and they're probably, Brax is probably saying I need 50 seconds guys and then I'm going to find Gyro. Gyro's a hero that naturally wants to stand in the front line. I'm just going to blow two Ravages on him. And you know... Boris realizes that too, picked up the Sange, going for the SNOI. He's going to need that status resistance, and he's going to need his teammates to be able to bail him out. Two four staffs and a glimmer, I'd like to see. Monkey's on bottom. Line. Oh, didn't use the Ravage. Okay. Didn't enough time. Interesting. I would actually like to see an A on disc on Boris, to be honest with you. I think that is like the best item he can buy in this position, because the only way he can die is if he does not get his BKB Satanic off. Right. SNOI is. It's okay, it's fine, but you're really playing into your teammates protecting you, or he has so much damage now, like, I'm just really worried if he gets bursted with a double Ravage, they'll lose. And if he buys an Aeon Disc, he no longer has any option of getting bursted. And I'd feel pretty secure with him, and plus he has some Satanic Ags, and it's going to be very hard for them to randomly proc it. Right. Well, and, you know, coming up pretty soon here, Boris also does have... Uh, the the spider legs that he can swap in if he needs to, right? So that that also gives you that extra slot that you might need uh, as the gyrocopter. Um, I don't believe they got one on Zoomers, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so no, you know. they got the cloak of flame, psychic headband, enchanted quiver, and titans. Yeah. yeah, blessed by the spider leg gods. <laughs> right, it's so good. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, it needs to be removed from the game. Honestly, I'm, I'm down with that. Well, I said that this game wasn't going to be going to the crazy late stage, but I might be wrong about that. As the arrow will go out, catches onto I Annihilate. Do they want to go in on this? The roll and the kick away. Dude, five up is having none of it. Now afterwards, root onto Gyrocopter, and they know they're down here. This is Illusionist Kate picked up. Next tier of items just now becoming available. As Zoomers holding on to this middle area here and going to pressure out the wave. There is only two tier one, tier two towers left alive, uh, both of them in the bot lane. But the lane equilibrium going to need to be dealt with here as Monkeys Forever goes back to the side, has bots to join his team afterwards if they need to. But Zoomers are kind of coming here. They force them back. We'll have to keep an eye on it. 
Oh, looks like they're going to retreat away again. So yeah, weird, weird game state now as we're waiting for that second Roche. 20 seconds away. Uh, and it looks like Zoomers have been able to stake out their claim up here on this high ground. Would love to see them take over this outpost. But maybe they want to wait for a second before they go for it. Yeah, they're going to do it now. Yeah, Dota's a game that always gets a little weird around the tier 4 items when they come out. It's yeah. always been that way. The game just, this is like the late game. I consider it 37 minutes, like, late game now. And mm -hmm. teams group up as 5 a lot, they move around and play around vision. And this is where, like, the teams that are patient and play around their vision the most and have best teamwork operate the best. Very easy to throw a game in this situation. Absolutely. Um, should also note, we actually have the Aghanim Shard on a Gunner. So he's keeping these remnants around, which are doing this like AOE damage stuff as well. Um, kind of, kind of interesting. They're taking yeah. Roche. Uh, do they realize that this is going on? No, no vision here. This is ballsy. It's, dude, Arrow's gonna go out now. It spots it. Roche is down super low. Gunner ready to run in, but they get it. Aegis, everything. Gunner, did he get any of it? I, I'm not sure, but meanwhile, the egg goes down. Also, the arena. Ravage out, but the BKBs are already there. They blow him up. Gunner is gone. So, too, is that Phoenix. The chase down onto Brax. And now, simply two baits. Keep the chase coming. Gunner, he fought back for this one. Also, Remnant Ford can't afford to die. He's up on that high ground. Trying to walk out of there. Monkeys forever. Spots him out. The jump. There's the spear and the kill. They take down Gunner again. That's a dieback. Ocean just trying to be the savior in this one. But it is not going to happen. Again, they take down four. Yeah, I mean, that was really well played by um, Boris there. Dude. He was able to quickly BKB as Roche dying and grab the Aegis. Wow. And... I'm just so surprised. Like, they need Prax to be the one initiating. Like, it's not going to work otherwise. Like, Gunner's going in first, but, like, once you pop all these BKBs on two base, it becomes a situation where, like, the fight is now stalled until after the BKBs are down. But by that right. point, is anyone alive? Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, and, and the thing about that, though, is so, I mean, I guess also it's the call from two base to be like, all right, we're going to go in and Roche right now. And they didn't have an arrow over there. They didn't have any vision over there. They had nothing to sort of scout the pit. If if they do, maybe they take that fight and it looks differently. But now you've got no buyback on your Phoenix, no buyback on the Ember. They're getting ready to go high ground. And I don't know if Zoomers have the answers. Yeah, it's, that Roche was like super chad to be honest with you like i don't think <laughs> i really don't think zoomers expected them to do that Wild. it's like one of those moments where it's like they probably were just like dancing around feeling for where each other's at anticipating the next team fight but never did zoomers think that they would just be doing roche immediately while they're all postured around the pit all right and by Sam the time they pissed. did check it was too late Oh, and he gets pushed back again. This is a DD gyrocopter. Ocean is there trying to save his life. The BKB is popped. And now all the flat cannon coming out from Boris as they've taken two lane of racks. Do they want to stick around for more? It doesn't look like it. They're backing away 14k gold lead. They lose monkeys forever, but they're going to respect the potential strength of the Zoomers. Dude, simply two base with the bold call, then the move to take it, and then the win in the fight. What more can you want from them? Yeah, I mean, this feels, this is like deja vu vibes of four Zoomers game one of yesterday. Right. So, like, they're getting really far ahead, they're getting an advantage, and then in this mid game, they're just getting outplayed, simply put. But they still have some gas in the tank. I really need Brax to, like, be the one initiating, but they, they do have an Aegis now, and it becomes much more complicated. Well, yeah, we'll see if they can uh, make something happen. Still two minutes left on this one as... Boris is actually the one that's up front and center along with five up. They're ready to go if they decide to chase. But it looks like, uh, at least for now, two base opting to play it a little bit safer, retreating back to the side and everybody blinking away yet again. They see the AA courier heading out. And it will retreat away. God, it's so it's so interesting. Like there's, you can tell. Like if you get double ravaged here and it hits onto everybody, you're still probably gonna die. And all this this momentum you built might not matter. Yeah, for me, it's all eyes. Like um, if Brax can get the initiation, it right. might not even be bad to just blow up the Aegis. I mean, they need to. Like 
right. use the Ravage on top of an arrow, and then as he's respawning, you'll have to deal with that later, but will they have a base? Oh, Brax, he's over to the side looking for the big dump. Does he want to go for it? He's waiting, he's waiting. Sammy Low, there's the Ravage, hits it on to four. Can he get round two? BKB comes out from Uxterva, what happened? He got stunned or something. Brax didn't get it off. Oh no, Refresher, it's not going to come out. Buys back now, round two, with BKB's down. This could be the moment that they're looking for afterwards. But do two base stick around? So he held on to it there. Yule Scepter lift up, I Annihilate off to the side, Ravage to Boris! Oh, he gets it off the BKB in time! Ultra kill for Boris! Give that man another Rampage! The chase down, the potential kill. Five up, try to kill I Annihilate, or rather, Tiny Till Gunner who is just doing everything he possibly can to make it work, but it won't be enough. Six stuff from two based. Yeah, he has a Minotaur horn there. Clutchly Dude. timed there and dodged the Ravage with it. Oh, neutral items, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's in some good neutral swap.